Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to restore your next cloud setup if it breaks due to an update, modifications you've made, or accidental deletion of crucial files. We'll continue from where we left off in the next cloud backup video. Here, we're going to log into our infrastructure and verify the existence of some files. I decided to create three blank text files named restore. Once verified, we will log out and perform the deletion of our data folder that contains all pertinent user data. This will make sure that the infrastructure breaks for the restoration process. In this step, I am opening a terminal window and logging in as the root user. If your next cloud setup is already broken, you can skip this part. I'll point out where you should start with the restoration process. For now, I'm just simulating a broken infrastructure to show you how to proceed. Now that the data folder has been deleted, I'll attempt to access my next cloud infrastructure. As expected, it should be inaccessible due to the missing data folder. At this point, pause the video and make sure to watch my next cloud setup tutorial for a clean installation. This is necessary before we continue. Now that the installation is complete, I'll access my cloud infrastructure using my static IP address. This will take me to the next cloud setup screen because I haven't finished the setup process yet. If you followed my next cloud setup video, you should already be past this step. I will touch base with you again once Nextcloud is set up and we've reached the Nextcloud dashboard. Now that the next cloud setup is complete, click on the Files tab and then on Documents. As you can see, our backed up files are missing at the moment. In the next step, we'll focus on restoring these files from our backups. Switch to the computer where your backed up files are stored. In the Dolphin File Manager, set up an SFTP connection to your remote computer, the one needing restoration, on the left side. On the right side, navigate to your Downloads folder which is where your backed up data is stored. In this step, we will transfer our tar files containing the backed up data from the right window, our local computer, to the left window, the remote computer in need of restoration. As soon as the transfer is complete, we will switch back to the computer in need of restoration and open a terminal window. Once the terminal window is open, we will log in as root user. Navigate to your next cloud installation directory. Now, we'll use the tar command to extract our backed up data into the Nextcloud installation directory. Once this step is complete, 
I'll check back in and guide you through the database import process. In the upcoming step, we will delete the newly created Nextcloud database. I will provide a concise command for this task. If it doesn't work for you with the respective database password, don't worry. I will also demonstrate an alternative method by logging into the database with the root password and manually deleting it. This additional step is reliable and ensures the job gets done. I will check back in once the database has been deleted. Now we are set to create a new Nextcloud database. This will be required to import our backed up database. We will use the following command to import our backed up database. When prompted for a password, enter the MySQL database user password. At this point, let's open a web browser. Enter the static IP address of your cloud infrastructure to access the login screen. If you are already logged in, you'll be directed to your dashboard. If prompted to perform an update, proceed with it. In my case, I need to perform a quick update. Let's ensure that we can log in using our old user credentials. Once we've done that, we will confirm the presence of our backed up user data. As you can see, our backed up data, in my case, three text files, isn't showing in our user account, despite extracting all the data earlier. To make it visible, we need to run a command to synchronize the data with our web user interface. This will also indicate how many files were updated and removed during the process. Now that we've executed the command, let's check again to see if the backed up data has been restored. The backed up files should now be added to the existing default files in their respective folders. And that's it, a successful Nextcloud restore. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.